is April 9th, 2022. So here I got a call from a longtime customer that he's got a couple of issues at his house. And also he's got a tub shower valve that's um, leaking by. Send me a picture of it. It looks like it's a, a different type of Simmons. The Simmons valve, but it's got a different body on it, different trim. So I have parts for that. Miss Molly's out working again today. What are you doing working with Daddy Miss Molly? Don't look like it's dripping to me. I mean, I could probably put a new washer kit in it. It'd probably be fine. This type of valve, you have to tighten it for it to stop leaking. Seems like we're going to press high, but it also goes further than it used to shut off. Well, I could put a new washer kit on it. I mean, I don't think it's anything major. So, yeah. I mean, I could readjust the handle. Well, maybe who, who's trying to... Uh, you, this is a compression type of valve. Let me reposition the handle. Maybe you can get more with it straight down. You get more leverage. You see how it's up on an angle? Yeah. I mean, because it's not leaking. It used to be straight up and down. Yeah, I can fix that. That's two seconds. Let me just readjust the handle for you. Okay. I mean, I'm not, gonna, I'm not the type to sell you shit that you don't need. I don't know. Maybe I should be. You think I should? Stop raking up my... Uh, Breaking up my profits, huh? Compression type of valve, so when you shut it, you have to snug it. Okay? It's just how it is. Yeah, the way you were talking, I thought it would be like dripping continuously. Not making any banging noise or anything downstairs, does it? No. Does it make a difference if you run hot water or cold water for the shower? No. Once I take it apart and lube it up, that might that might help put a little bit of lube on there, you know? Because what happens is it gets let's shut the water off and I'll take it apart and put a little lube on there. Take it apart and give it a little, see what's going on, lube it up. Definitely getting a little on the crusty side. No, actually, she got another job. Oh, yeah? yeah? She got another job somewhere else. Doing, doing something else. She's got better hours. She don't have to work weekends or nights before. It was like a rotating shift for her. Oh, yeah. So she never knew when she was going to be working. She wanted the weekends off. And you gotta kind of work the handle. Oh yeah, look at the look at the shit in there. Oh yeah, that's probably why. It's a lot of shit in there, binding up. You got a replacement for it? Yeah, just put another spindle in there probably. Cause see how it's all mucky. 
let's just put another spindle in there. You know what happens is it gets all, see all this corrosion? Yeah. I don't think that's been changed since we had it. That's probably why it was hard to, hard to maneuver. And you're not using this a lot, are you? Yeah, this one, the downstairs one we don't use. This one you use a lot? Yeah. I mean, I don't see, I could, I could see changing that spindle because it's just... You see a lot of shit in the water though, huh? The seats look okay. Just a lot of slime in there. The city's been doing a lot of pipe work. Yeah, just a lot of shit in there, a lot of slime. And they get a lot of sediment from it. Huh? They get a lot of sediment from the city doing work lately. Yeah, let's put a new spindle in there. You can, you can see it was all kind of like... I mean, I could probably sand it down and put a new seat kit in there, but it is an older unit. Let's put a new one. You don't mind? No. Nope. Oh yeah, every time they flush it, yeah. you'd be surprised. The pipe is like three quarters full of like barnacles or shit. Like you, the arteries, yeah. If you ever seen what the pipe inside the water main in the city looks like, you'd never drink the water again. Wow. I swear to God. I used to work for a company that did all um did some work in the street mains. Yeah. Big union company when I first started. They would open up these pipes in the street. I mean, you could walk in them. They're so big, right? And uh, three quarters of it was completely loaded with like barnacles. Wow. Yeah, the only thing that you could do is uh, see the top of it where the water would go past. It was terrible. Really bad. I couldn't believe it. You tell people that and they say, ah, nah, that can't be it, you know. Water flushes the main out, it's bullshit. Really kind of black and mucky. I'll put a new spindle in there. You'll be better off with a new washer. You think that's just from the city? Yeah, I noticed that for a couple of days when they were working, you'd get like a brownish tint to the water. Yeah, well they're flushing it. They're trying to... But the problem is they'll never get all that muck out of the bottom of the pipe. It doesn't look like barnacles. You ever see the shit that grows like on the underneath of a boat? I remember Jack Markey used to have a cross-section on his desk and it looked like hardening of the arteries. Oh, from the street main? Yeah. Look at that. That's really kind of bad. Well, like barnacles from hell. Hmm. So, I mean, these these street these pipes you could kind of like walk in them downtown downtown New Bedford. It was so they would like cut a section out and you could see right in there. Wow. I mean, the pipes were so big. Eighteen hundreds, they probably put them things in, you know. I wonder why I wear gloves. I wonder why you wear gloves. It's just nasty. Problem is you can't get in there and clean it, you know? Mm. Why would you wear gloves? I never figure it out. Alright, so we got a brand new spindle in there. And we'll set the handle where we want it. You know, this valve, you have, to, you have to tighten it, you know, but it's going to work better now because it's... I'm going to go a little, I'm going to go a little bit like that because it's going to, and as it gets older, it's going to tighten. Right. Right? There's no dripping going on downstairs? No, you, you replaced that one about a year ago. 
weren't getting hot water, just cold water with it. The mixer wasn't working, so you replaced it. This here, just leave this alone because this is a volume control. Yeah. You don't want to get less water. If anything, you want to get more. So just leave that alone. Yeah. So I have replaced that recently. You see, in one year? I think it's a year ago, right? Downstairs you replaced it. Oh, not up here though. No, no. no. I mean, you can see it was pretty. And the washers, I mean, I could have probably tried to rebuild that, but for the time, it's probably not worth it. Yeah. Time's money, right? <clears throat> you ever hear that saying? Oh, yeah. yeah. So I left the handle a little bit because as he tightens it, it's going to, you know, as the washer wears in, it's going to go more and more. I said, I don't think he needed a, uh, just to make sure it gets hot, it should because it was clicking, well, it was good to check it. good you gotta go with OEM equipment with these valves you can't buy that cheap shit it won't work it's gonna be OEM um, Simmons parts so 